Welcome to The Daring Estate. On today's virtual field trip, we're going to be discussing the scientific method as we design, build, and test a protective case to protect a raw egg from breaking when dropped from a height of six feet. While conducting this experiment, we're going to be following the scientific method, which is a step-by-step -step investigation process to help guide scientific inquiry. The scientific method can be broken down into eight key steps. For today's experiment, we're going to be observing what happens when we drop a raw egg from the height of six feet. As you can see, when we drop the egg from a height of six feet, it broke. The second step of the scientific method is to ask a question. Your question should be based on your observation and has to be testable. For our egg drop experiment, we're going to be asking the question, how can we protect a raw egg from breaking and when it's dropped from a height of six feet? The third step of the scientific method is to conduct research. Conducting research helps to give us a little bit more background information related to our experiment. For our egg drop experiment, we decided to conduct research on the following topics, air resistance, pressure, gravity, and physical reactions. The fourth step of the scientific method is to create a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a predicted answer for the focus question of your experiment. Hypothesis typically take place in the statement format of if, then, because. For our egg drop experiment, we're going to be following the hypothesis that states, if we create a parachute for the top of our egg and enclose our egg in a protective layer, then our egg will be safe and will not break when it drops from six feet because the parachute will help to create air resistance, slowing down the egg, and the protective layer will protect it from breaking. The next step of the scientific method is our design step. The design step can actually be broken down into smaller tasks. The first of those tasks is to come up with your plan. Your plan can take form in the place of a drawing. I've decided to draw out what I plan to build, and I've included detailed labels of what I plan to use in terms of materials. When it comes to the materials for this experiment, you can really use anything you can find in your house. For us, we have availability to construction paper, scissors, yarn, cardboard, pipe cleaners, egg carton, straws, toilet paper rolls, skewers, cotton balls, rubber bands, popsicle sticks, cups, ribbon, newspaper, and of course, eggs. Now that we have our design complete, the next step is to test our design. When testing, we have to include multiple trials to make sure that we're eliminating any outside factors that might play a role in how our egg drops. In order to drop this egg from six feet, we're gonna be standing on the table behind me. At home, get your parents involved in this step so that we can make sure you're dropping your egg safely. The seventh step of the scientific method is to record and analyze our results. As you can see, we recorded the results of all three of our trials, and in each of our three trials, our egg survived. The final step of the scientific method is to form a conclusion and share that conclusion with your community. Because our egg survived all three trials, we're going to be able to fail to reject our hypothesis. And we're going to share that information with our community so that if they recreate this experiment in the future, they can use our results to help influence them. If you're planning to conduct this experiment at home, make sure to get your parents involved and try dropping the egg from different heights. You can also try changing up the case that goes around the egg or even eliminating the parachute to see how that could impact your results. If you're planning to do this experiment inside, make sure you lay down some newspaper or plastic bags because these eggs, when they break, can get pretty messy. Don't forget to take pictures and videos and share them with us on Instagram, at Deering. We hope you enjoyed today's virtual field trip. See you next time.